Bom dia, boa tarde, boa noite, or whatever the case may be. My name is Marcus, and I am the host of the Black Brazil Today YouTube channel, as well as the BlackBrazilToday.com blog, where I analyze Brazil from the perspective of race. So the origins of today's story comes from a, a, an Instagram channel, really, that I've been following for a while. Um, one of my favorite uh, Instagram pages is by, uh, I forget his last, I think it's uh, Moro, I can't remember his last name, it starts with a B. But the name of his uh, Instagram page is uh, Afro Estima number two. That means, you know, basically having esteem and having African ancestry. So it's called Afro Estima. Uh, I've used, you know, some of his material in the past and a post that he did, I think, last Thursday caught my attention. And he didn't immediately say who he was talking about. So I hadn't heard the story yet. But the 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 topic of his post was just saying okay we have another case that people are talking about here with a you know a well known black soccer player or athlete i can't remember if he said he was talking about an athlete or if he just said a well to do black man in brazil and he's dating a blonde so anytime you you know in the racial politics that we have in brazil today it's 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 an open discussion and it has been for at least a decade now uh openly you know, people used to whisper before the oncome of the Internet. But in the Internet age, this became a hot topic, what Brazilians call palmitaging, the predilection of black Brazilians to date and or marry, have long term relationships and families with people who are considered white, uh, whether just Brazilian white or just just white in general. So it's, it's been a hot topic for at least a decade, decade and a half, I would say. So at the time he talked about this and I didn't know who he was talking about. Like I didn't hear anything about it. It was maybe a day or two later that I started seeing chatter. I think it was maybe on a Friday that I realized that people were talking about an interview that this young soccer player had recently done on a podcast. And when I saw the commotion that was going, I'm like, oh, this has to be the, the, the situation that he was talking about because he didn't name the guy by name. But within by Friday and Saturday, I fully knew who he was talking about. Matter of fact, I started putting together some preliminary work to do you know, a story about this particular situation. And then one of my contacts in Bahia sent me a link the next day. He was like, Mark, did you hear about this? Like, yeah, I just heard about it last night. I'm already working on a story. So I want to. I wanted to introduce this to, you know, my subscribers because, you know, this fa it just falls in line with the topic that I talk about all the time. So the name of today's story, I told my friends I like them blonde with blue eyes. 17-year-old soccer star Indriki gets roasted online for his dating preference. So before I get into this video, make sure you like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell so that you know when I put up a new video. So let's get into what, what people are saying about this relationship and what it is that the young soccer star said. So this is Indriki here, this guy right here. He's a star player for Palmeiras in Sao Paulo. And this is his girlfriend. Now, if you remember some months ago, I actually covered, I already, I've already talked about Indriki at least twice in previous posts. If you don't remember that, definitely go back in the archives on, on the YouTube channel, on this YouTube channel and check out. I'm going to go through that and review it because there's a lot to unpack, not only with this story, but a few things that people brought up. So what am I what else am I going to be talking about here? And did he's just 17 years old and he already signed a huge contract to play in Europe. I'm not sure if he's going to be playing for Real Madrid in Spain. I forget the team he signed for, but the point is he's not 18 yet. So even though he signed a contract, he can't start playing until later on this year when he turns 18. In one of the videos I did, I talked about he him having a high transfer value. There's a video I did some months ago that talked about the business of soccer is big business, right? Um, how much a team is willing to play to have access to the rights of this guy to come play for their team. There were 10, 11 or 12 Brazilian players who are among the top 100 high transfer value players in the world. And Dariki was one of them, and he's only 17. Um, of course, I'm touching on this topic again, black Brazilian soccer players and Paul Mitaging. People have for years talked about why is it that black Brazilian soccer players always seem to marry blondes or not even just blondes, just white women in general. A lot of people say they stampede over 100 black girls to get to the blonde. Right. Um, I'm going to talk about a comment that uh, Enrique made. And it speaks to the question of whenever people would make questions about 
why do they always date blondes? And people will automatically just respond, a more no taint core, like love doesn't have color to deflect the idea that they have a preference for whiteness. And then the last thing I want to talk about, and this has to do with not only Enrique and his girlfriend, but another situation in which this question of hypergamy comes into play. So let me get directly into the video for today. On podcast, Enrique explains how relationship with Gabrielli began. A guest on the Pogi Delas, uh, in uh, the Pogi Delas podcast, Enrique revealed details of the beginning of his relationship with nutrition student Gabrielli Miranda. The Palmetto's player revealed that the first flirtations were over a bet with a friend, but that the two later became good friends. The couple of the moment, Enrique and Gabriela Miranda gave details of their relationship in an interview with Pogi Dallas this uh, last Friday, the 12th. Um, as I said, that's about the time that I found out about it. It was like Friday evening. During the chat, the Palmetto's player revealed that he started investing in the nutrition student because of a bet with a mutual friend. I'd known him for a long time. I already followed him and other Palmetto's players and always commented when he scored a goal or won a title. At first, he would talk about the fans, and I would say, don't talk about the fans because I'm a fan too. My father kills and dies for Palmetto's. The model began in the interview. You have to understand that in soccer, so, you know, soccer is, in Brazil, soccer is almost as popular by itself as basketball, football, and baseball in the United States. That's how big the sport is. You know, you people become enemies over these sports. You see all of these fights that go on in the stands. I mean, soccer is part of being Brazilian, really. So when she says my father, maybe she should have said my father lives and dies for Palmeiras. I don't know. But people take, you know, soccer very serious. I've seen families divided, you know, in Sao Paulo over you being a, a Corinthians fan or a Palmeiras fan. These are two of the major four teams in the state of Sao Paulo, three of them being in, in the city of Sao Paulo. Okay. So this is a still from the Pogi Ellis, Pogi Dallas, uh podcast. You know, this is in Enrique and his girlfriend, Gabrielli. Gabrielli then went on to say that in, uh, Enrique started to get in touch with her through a friend they had in common with whom she studied. She lived in Co uh, Cochia. Uh, a friend of mine played for Sao Paulo and studied at a school there. I told my friends how I liked the girl. Blonde with blue eyes. And he'd say, bro, I've got a girl here, but it's hard. I doubt you'll get her. So at first she became a bet. And I said, bro, I'm going to get her. We called the Palmetas star. So listen to what he said right there. I mean, that, uh, those few comments really just tell us everything that this article, this video is going to be about. This whole thing started off with a bet. He bet his friend that he could get this girl that he had in mind. He says flat out, if you listen to the video, he said, Loida. As, uh, audio azul, which means blonde, blue eyes. So it started off with a bet. It started off with him t telling his friend what type of girl he wants. Now, the reason why I'm pointing this out is that usually, as I said before, people, black men, they're accustomed to hearing the accusation of being a palmitero, someone who prefers, you know, women with white skin. And most people don't immediately just flat out say, I prefer blondes. They'll say on the outside, love doesn't have color, you know, a more no tank core. But here in Drike is flat out saying, I, you know how I like my girls. I like them loiter con az audio azul, blonde with blue hair, but uh, with blue eyes. He said that flat out. Um, towards the tail end, I like somebody had put this together because a lot of black women over the years have talked about how black Brazilian women are just, set to the side when it comes to romantic relationships. Men either don't have serious relationships with them, they'll have little flings with them, but then not want to assume a, a, a serious relationship. And so black women have complained about this for years. And Gloria Maria, who died a few years ago, she was one of the top black journalists. She was a groundbreaking journalist on global TV, the, the country's top network. And she did an interview before she died. Uh, I think it was with Hoda Vivo, Hoda Viva, the name of the uh, the interview, it's an interview uh, television show. You know, I've, I've cited some stuff from there. Gloria Maria said... A woman preta is worse than that, because we are more... How can I put it? Black women are even worse off because we are more, how can I put it, abandoned, more discriminated against. Black Brazilian women have complained about this for years. Why is it that so many black men stampede over us to get to the white girl? Now, black men, on the other hand, I've learned to ha you have to look at both sides. Black men say the same thing about black women. 
And this is an ongoing debate. But this is what Gloria Maria said. And Gloria Maria, she did an interview some years ago where she says, you know, black men don't really <laughs> they're not really into her. So this is something that has been a topic of discussion, this idea of palmitaging for a number of years. This is the channel, the, the, the Instagram page that autoestima, afroestima is called. And he said this in his post at the time. Like I said, when he posted this, I didn't know who he was talking about until later on. So let's check out what he has to say. Uh, now that we know he was probably talking about Indriki. He says, we shouldn't just ask ourselves why almost every black player is with a blonde, but also try to understand why white women are always with black players. I mean, to me, it's kind of obvious. I've said this before. When white women are not able to attain that top level white man that they want. Black men are not considered the how can we say the standard for what a woman is looking for in Brazil is always the white man. So if she's not lucky enough to get one of the white guys of high value, she can go over to the other side and get a black guy. Right. But this is the choice that the white woman has. She can select from both. You know, so, she, you know, the. the Opportunity she has probably is much wider than that of black women. So here in this case, we see the, the, the black guy flat out said, I want a blonde with blue eyes. Right. Why is this white woman with the black guy? Let's go on. Recently, reading about a famous young footballer's relationship with a model and analyzing his family's concerns about a possible early marriage, I identified the same standard of a rising black soccer player and a blonde a white girlfriend. However, I think it's worth shifting the reflection from the black player to the white partner. Good point. Many of us always try to find the reasons why a young black man on the rise seeks a partner who is white, but we rarely think about the reasons why a white woman seeks a black man on the rise, you know, in social ascension. <laughs> you know, this is something that Umar Johnson has talked a lot about. I mean, agree or disagree with Umar Johnson. I mean, th th the question is, and Umar Johnson has made a question of this, how many white women do you see with poor black men in brazil the black man is not the man that most women want to have particularly if we're talking about white women she might consider him as a sexual partner but when she wants to have and form a relationship she's generally going to choose the white guy okay so what is it that white women are choosing what is it that a black man has that a white woman is choosing him when the standard for a man in brazil is supposed to be the white man i think we know the answer to that Analyzing data on marriages in Brazil, we can see that white women are more flexible about being in an interracial relationship than white men. The latter has little flexibility when it comes to interracial relationships. Furthermore, in studies on whiteness, it is possible to find reports of white women who believe they are better treated by black men. Now, I'm not going to say any woman should be treated badly in a relationship, but why is it that some people feel and maybe some, some people have expounded on this to say, yeah, black men treat me better? Could it be that black men are trained to give a certain level of respect, honor and love to white women that they won't give to black women? I mean, I've been reading about this for years, so I think I already know the answer to this because thousands, tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of comments from black women seem to confirm this. Why do they treat black women one way and they treat white women another way? OK. In this sense, there is an exchange in which the black man compensates for his low racial status with some other attribute, which may be financial. White women would enter with a higher racial status, even if their class condition is low. But other aspects around this relationship, such as black men's greater commitment to pleasing and directing affection. Now, it's interesting when I brought this up, I was talking to a friend of mine a few days ago, and he was actually asking a question and saying, when black men even having money relate and get with white women, are they committing hypergamy because racially the white woman has more status than the black man. But if he has more money, opportunity and resources than her, then he has more, uh, recent, you know, more uh, social value. But I'm of the belief that nowadays, I don't know, maybe 60, 70, 80 years ago, that might have been the true that race plays such a factor in it that you could say that a black man marrying a white woman, regardless of his social status, he could be considered practicing hypergamy. But I can't really buy that today. Uh, that's that's to say, even a man having 100 million, hey, eyes, 100 million dollars. We're still going to say he's practicing hypergamy if he gets a woman who's his social inferior. And I don't mean in terms of her human condition. I'm talking about what she brings to the table, how much money she has, what's her education, how much money does she earn a year? If this guy is earning, you know, 10 million hey, eyes per year, you know, hey, eyes being a Brazilian uh, 
currency and she's earning 50,000. Hey, guys, obviously he has more in terms of the social market, the job market. He's earning more money than her. So, OK, in terms of what we call high value men or high value women, who's supposed to have the upper hand there? I don't think you can necessarily trade and just say, OK, she's white. She still has a higher status than him. I, don't, I can't really I can't really buy that argument. Some research suggests that white women exchange their whiteness for devotion, admiration, and fidelity. Our guess about the couples formed by black men in ascension and white women is that there is an effort on the part of many white women to keep their racial status always high, enhancing their material privileges. The question is whether in this type of relationship, white women perceive and give in to their whiteness to the point of not violating their black partners or whether there is an instrumentalization of black ascension to maintain the status of whiteness. Perhaps the, the, the answer to this question begins with the understanding of what it means to be white and what whiteness is through the workshop available at the link in the bio entitled Thinking About White Racial Identity Outside of Whiteness. So the Afro Estima uh, Instagram page, they, he, he does, you know, like uh, he has courses online where he talks about, you know, the construction of black identity, white identity, racism in Brazil and these types of things. You know, it, it, it brings a little bit more to the conversation than just. OK, uh, you know, you're dragging a black man for for dating a white woman. And matter of fact, there's already been people who have posted or made videos online where they're saying, you know, stop crucifying Indriki. Stop trying to cancel him because he's dating a white girl. Right. If you if we we've seen enough of this online where, you know, in today's environment in black Brazil, when a prominent black person come, you know, goes public with a relationship with a, a, a white person. They are going to get dragged. People are calling them out, but people are also pointing out they do this. It seems to be a lot of the anger is directed at black men, but the same is not true when a white woman is seen with a, with a white man or, or rather when a black woman is seen with a white man. Um, this debate keeps going on and on, but let's look and see what people are seeing on Twitter. These are just a couple of the comments that I saw. So I'm going to just go through a few of these here. It says Indriki's dating contact. Maybe it should be contract. Because he spoke of a contract he has with this girl that he's dating. And Dariki's dating contract has basically the same effect as Isa's pregnancy. Curiously, the two cases occurred almost at the same time. And, and it's, if there are black people who don't understand the problem of palmitogen in these two cases, you can't even consider yourself racially conscious. What is he talking about here? He says Isa's pregnancy. Now, for those of you who don't know, Isa is a popular singer, very pretty black girl. Her fame has exploded. I don't know. She's been out like, maybe six to eight years now. Isa was, was with uh, a music producer for a while. They had a, I'm not going to say it was totally public, but she had a, she went through a divorce. She ended up paying her, her former husband and music producer and manager. She ended up paying him a, a settlement to avoid going to court and perhaps losing more of her money. Okay. She later on got into another relationship with a soccer player. I think his name is, uh, what is his name? Yuri? His name is Yuri Lima. So in that comment that the guy was just talking about in this comment, it's funny because Isa announced that she was pregnant. You know, I don't know if it was a couple of weeks ago. She was actually performing a show and, you know, you saw the little belly bump that she's got going. So this is the guy that she's with. He's a soccer player named Yuri Lima. OK, so what he's suggesting here by using the word uh, palmitaging, I don't know how he, can, how he can use the word palmitaging here because I don't see nothing about this guy being white. Let's look a little bit more at this Yudi Lima. Who is Yudi Lima? He's uh, he's his boyfriend. He's only scored one goal in his career. <laughs> and what else about this guy? Um, OK, so this is uh, Yudi Lima with Isa, again, uh, one of the most popular singers in Brazil today. Now, what I want to talk about here is that uh, Isa, she has a pretty large, uh, we can say, net worth. But from what I'm seeing about this guy, it's, it says in this post here, I think he's been in 200 games. This is Yuri Lima. He's been in about 200 games, and they say he's only scored one goal. Let me see. And we were talking about transfer value early, said earlier in this video, and it says his transfer value is estimated to be three million hairs. OK, so why am I bringing this up? Because this comes into the idea, again, of what they call hypergamy, okay? In the situation with uh, Indriki, this guy, I think his transfer value is, is estimated at some 60 million euros or something. So as soon as he transfers over to that European soccer team, he's going to have a whole lot of money. 
clearly he's going to make more money than the girlfriend that he chose or who chose him, whatever. On the flip side, let me see if I can find this is a Yuri Lima here. And as I said, I don't even know how somebody could suggest this is palmitaging. People talk about palmitaging when a black person, you know, gets together with a white person. And this guy, Yuri, I don't, what do you see? But he's clearly not white to me. Some people might see him as black. Some people might see him as brown, but he's clearly not a white guy. I don't know. Not even in Brazil could this guy be considered white. But then we look at Isa. OK, this is Isa. What is Isa's net worth? If I'm not mistaken, they say Isa's net worth is eighty six million dollars. So here we have another situation where we talk about hypergamy. Black woman gets with a guy and she has to get with a guy who's on her not had he doesn't have the same social value as he does whereas on the other hand the black man chooses a woman it doesn't matter what her social value is you know i don't know how much indiriki's girlfriend is making but she's clearly not making anywhere near the money that he's making that's just another point and what people are talking about in relationships these days it says the, the, the man doesn't necessarily care what the woman is earning. But then a woman who has high value, she has a lot of money in her bank account. She can't seem to land a guy who has more money than her. Why is that? I mean, I, I haven't seen this theory debunked up until this point. That's a whole nother question. And I don't want to get off of the topic. Um, another thing that people like to point to is that black women, black women are speaking about love and color. And they say that black men are educated to love white women. A lot of people have said that this is where this term palmitaging comes from. But let me keep going with the topic. Um, so that I just wanted to explain because this guy brought up the I, the question of uh, Isa just announcing that she was pregnant and then the guy that she's with. Apparently, she has a whole lot more money than him. Um, let me see. Indriki, have you ever heard of palmitaging? Boy, you were very poor. Think about it. If you were a street vendor with this blonde look at you. Get informed, kid. So people are clowning in Dariki. Like, okay, with this girl, okay, this girl and her father were, were soccer fans. They followed the Palmetto's team. But would she have given you a second look if you hadn't assigned a contract to play over in Europe as soon as you turn 18? Another guy says, my, my man in Dariki is another one of those from the Palmy Tajin crowd, right? These are just some more posts where people are saying <laughs> about his choice of his girlfriend. This guy here says, Palmitogen is one of the greatest evils of humanity. Mil Nagel, <laughs> my N-word, my black man, Mil Nagel, Indriki, deserves to be happy with a good nega or black woman and have beautiful little black boys in the future. But that's not what he chose. Now, of, of course, another thing to think about is Indriki is still only 17. This doesn't mean that he's going to marry this girl, but this is what he chose. Um as much as there's been conversation on racial identity in Brazil, a lot of people still don't see the connection between racial identity, uh, having pride in what you look like, and then this promotion of Palmy Dodging and what they call Embranque Cemento in Brazil, where black people are encouraged to date whiter skinned people to produce whiter looking children. OK, next comment said it's impossible that there isn't a more experienced player in this Palmy Dodging game or this Palmy Dodging business to guide Indriki. So, you know, there's a lot of black soccer players and musicians, rappers and politicians, whoever, who get with white girls. He's just like, damn, couldn't nobody have told him about what he's getting into in terms of following this this theory of Palmy Tajing? Um, what does it say here? A, a Maria Chutera, she just takes his, let's say, eggplant and leaves. The kid even made a contract to date her. Ha ha. Crazy. Now, um, Maria Chutera, let me see if I can find my article about that. I talked about this before. Let me see. Maria Chutera. These are Brazil's gold diggers, Brazil's soccer gold diggers are, are mostly interested in top soccer player relationships, lead to tens of thousands and monthly child support. So this is what he's talking about when he says a Maria Chutera. Basically, they're saying like this girl that he just looked up with. Obviously, she's in this for the money. Nobody can say that for a fact, but that's what it looks like. Um, people have been discussing this for years. Comment. This is from 2013. Comments about soccer stars, new white girlfriend show that Brazilians also see a problem with black men consistently choosing white women when they get money. This is another interesting article. This is something one of the first things that I did. It, it, this is from 2012. It was a video on uh, 40 G Sao Paulo, you know, Brazil's top newspaper. And they were interviewing these women at a soccer game. They all had their eyes on this guy here, Wagner Love. And, the, you know, the women were saying white female soccer player, play, 
white female soccer fans on dating black players. If he weren't a player, I'd stay with my little white guy. So in the video that I had for this, in the interview, the women were basically saying, you know, if he's black, I'm going to look into his background. You know, how much money does he make? What kind of job does he have? If he's a, not a top name, you know, soccer player, then I'm going to stay with my little white guy. This woman actually said that in a video. It just makes me wonder if the guy that she was with at the time had seen that comment. I wonder what she what he would have thought of hearing that. She openly said that on a camera in an interview that you could find on the 40 G So Follow website. All right. Anyway, continuing. And is the highest level possible palmitage. So uh, people are just clowning in And again, I have to say, you know, in is 17 years old. I know I'm not the same person that I was when I was 17. So it's always possible that he may see the other side of the coin. But oftentimes with black soccer players, they you, they're not going to see it. They, they, they might recognize that they're black, but they still have that white woman as the pedestal, as the trophy wife that they want to have. OK, just going through a few links. This is what I was talking about. Uh, high value players. There were nine, like 11 or 12 uh, Brazilian players in the top 100 who have the top uh you know, transfer value to for another team to pick them up. Now, this is the article that I did. Uh, let's see. I think this was last month. TNT Sports criticized after releasing a video that thins out the nose and lightens the skin of popular black soccer player Indriki, the guy that I'm talking about right now. This is what they did. This is him. This is what he really looks like. And then this is how they changed his face. That's a video that I posted, you know, like I said, uh, in March. Definitely check that out. I didn't get into the question of his girlfriend in this particular post, but I did do it in a, in a, in the video that I covered. Uh, here we have, uh, let's see. And he, uh, Indriki's transfer fee was is 60 million euros. So again, as soon as this guy turns 18, he's going to start playing in Europe. going to be making a lot of money. Then here, uh, this is the video that I did. Uh, looks like over a month ago. And this was, uh, I was just talking about how they were manipulating Indriki's face to make him appear like less black. They gave him an almost Asian look, you know, a brown skin Asian. And I talked about this towards the end of that video, just talking about the choice in a girlfriend that Indriki made. So I'm actually just revisiting this topic today, you know, w w if, as everybody are making comments about this interview that he recently did, where he said flat out, you know, I'm looking for, I want you know how I like my girls. I like them blonde with blue eyes. Okay. Um, so then this brings me to what I said before. A lot of people, a lot of black women who have studied this situation, this scenario of black men consistently choosing white women when they come into resources. Black men are educated to love white women. That's what a lot of black Brazilian women believe about, you know, Afro-Brazilian men. Which then brings us again to the question of palmitage. For years, black Brazilians didn't see an issue with this. Hey, I just love who I love. But then people are starting to understand the indoctrination process that indoctrinates black people to prefer white partners. This has been going on for centuries because the idea has been to mix Brazilians, black, darker skinned Brazilians out of the population through racial mixture. OK, this article right here confirms what a lot of black women believe. This guy wrote an article. It's a long article. I have to cover it one day. Palmitage exists. I am an example. This black man reflects on growing up in Rio de Janeiro and how the culture and racial hierarchy influences the adoration of white girls among black Brazilian men. Then you have the question is always a lot of people have asked this question. So when I first started asking this 20 some years ago, people just painted me as the racist North American. But a lot of black Brazilians started questioning this, too. Why do Brazilian players have a fetish for blonde women when a black man calls the attention of the white woman? So th this is from 2023. This is a question that everybody continues to ask now. These are just some examples of jogadores negros, black soccer players with blondes. Here you have this is uh, this is looks like this is in Driki with his girlfriend right here and here. You know, this is a story that I cover and I asked a question like, why is it that black soccer players who point out racism always seem to have a white girlfriend or wife? This is what I've talked about on the blog several times. The incredible case of the black pomitato. He doesn't want a commitment, but he radically changes his mind when a white woman enters his life. Some black people use white people as a social passport to feel more accepted. It goes on and on. You know, on the reality show, Big Brother Brazil, one of the contestants on the show, one of the young black men, white girls never look at me. How one participant's desire to swirl on popular reality show raises questions about the self-esteem of black men. Just saying like, hey, it seems like it seems to be true. Like black men would do anything to get to a white girl. 
blue eyes and blonde hair. Um, this is the article I just mentioned. This was another case of rags to riches. This soccer player named Joao Pedro, he got a contract to go play over in Europe. He left Rio de Janeiro, and we saw what his girlfriend looked like. It's like, I don't know. I don't know if it's the white girls who come after them because they are easy pick or <laughs> that's I don't know. What is your opinion on this? I'm just curious. We've seen this thing go on in the United States. and A lot of people say, why is it that we when we see NBA and NFL drafts? When the camera goes into the audience of the player that just got drafted, they see the white girl and her family behind him. It's like, where's the black girls? And a lot of people are saying, well, these white girls get down with these black guys as they were. And a lot of people say, well, black women want the guy already at his peak before they even look at him when the white girl took him when he was still poor. I don't know. It's an ongoing discussion. What else do we have here? Then we have this question of successful black men celebrate their black pride and consciousness. But when it's time to marry, it is his whitened family who will inherit his estate, which is the point that Umar Johnson always points out. It's something that I've been talking about for a number of years. You know, you complain about racism. White people this, white people that. Then you marry somebody white. You produce mixed kids. The mixed kids being in the environment that they are in, they're going to be surrounded by other white people. That mixed child goes on to marry the white person. And then you begin the wealth transfer, which is which is the whole point here. Interracial unions and the plunder of the black legacy. You know, a lot of people talk about the popular musician Gilberto, Gilberto Gil, who is or will be 82 years old this year. And his family is in the middle of this whitening process as well. So a lot of people see this more as, you know, than just, you know, I just fell in love with a person who happens to be white. They're seeing this as, well, not a whole lot of black people are going to make it to that upper tier of, of income. And the vast majority of them, they're going to end up on the other side. There was one particular comment that I saw. I think it's here. And it says, why is it that 95 percent of black players marry with blonde women now that may or may not be you know blowing it out of proportion but you know and all the times i followed this situation i i really saw top, particularly top peer top level uh top salary black players with black women or even just non-white women you know the, the, the you know the conversation goes on so this is the latest in this conversation about palmitaging why do all the top black players always seem to end up with a blonde okay Fair question. Why do the blondes always seem to, you know, just suddenly fall into the lap of the black players? Anyway, I don't think this conversation is going to any anytime soon, but this is why I wanted to cover this particular topic today. Definitely drop a comment in the comment section. Like this video, share this video, consider subscribing to the channel. Click on the notification bell so you know when I put up a new video. And with that said, going to end this video here and request that you all come back. Check out the next video that I post.